think? It's beautiful. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Trying on wedding dresses. This isn't dress up. Weddings are serious business, you know. Well, I hope so, because I'm getting married. You can't get married if you're pregnant. Yeah, I was worried about that. But turns out you have a wedding dress that fits me just fine. That's right, Mrs. Reynolds. What's wrong with that? Denise, haven't I taught you anything? You shouldn't get pregnant just to hook a man. Oh, I'm not pregnant just to hook a man. Either that or you're just fast and loose. Fast and loose? I can't believe you're calling a customer fast and loose. I'm not calling a customer that. I'm calling you that. Well, she is a customer. Not anymore. Get out of my store. Really? Yes. Get out. Karen Reynolds won't sell wedding dresses to pregnant shoppers. Looks like Jennifer has to come up with a different plan. Come on, you two. I don't have all day. Yes, Karen. Don't call her that. Samantha, that's one more demerit for you. But I'm here to talk about your performance. Performance? Our sales are up. My numbers have been above quota. Yeah, your numbers are up. But have you ever heard of a thing called profit? This store isn't a charity, you know. Well, what are we supposed to do? Tell our customers not to buy something just because there's not enough profit in it? Well, Denise, obviously you don't know what to sell. You won't believe who she tried to sell a wedding dress to. Really? Who? She was having a baby. Well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with you two? We're not selling wedding dresses to pregnant women, teenagers, or farm animals. Yes, Mrs. Reynolds, whatever you say. You're darn tootin' that's what I say. And Denise, I'm demoting you out of bridal. Demoted? That's a big pay cut. And Samantha, I'm putting you in bridal, and it's not a promotion. But it's not a pay cut, right? No, it's not a pay cut because I'm nice. But I'd better not catch either of you two selling something on sale. Why can't we sell anything on sale? That's what I was wondering. Because we have to make our profit numbers. After all, the annual review is coming up. Oh, look, Junior, they have dresses on sale. Mom, why are we dress shopping? Because, honey, I have a date and I want to look nice. Why are you going on a date? What's wrong with just taking care of us at home? Because I'm getting tired of doing that. What's wrong with your mom having a little fun? You having fun on a date with a man. Who is he? I want to know. I don't know why I take you out shopping with me. I don't know why I have to go either. You think I want to hang out here? Hi, may I help you two? Why yes, I'd like to make a purchase. If you're ready to purchase, I can help you at the register. Great, I already know what I want. Come on, son. <sighs> nice choice. We almost ran out of these over the weekend. Well, I'm not surprised considering the price. 278 minus 50% plus tax is 150 and 12 cents. Wow, that's half off. That's like getting one free. Wow. What do you think you're doing? I'm ringing up the customer. Why are those dresses 50% off? Because they're on sale. I don't set the prices. That was last weekend. Why are you still giving them the sale price? Because that's the way they ring up in the register. And I suppose that's my fault. Once again, I have to clean up your mess. I'm sorry, ma'am. She's made a mistake. That's not the sale price anymore. Oh, really? Just what is the price then? Well, unfortunately, it's full price. But because I'm so generous, I'm going to give you the employee discount. Employee discount? Sounds good to me. Mom, why are we doing this? Hush. 
You heard her. Ring her up for the 10% off. Okay. 10%? That's it? Yes, I'm sorry. That's all we get here. You know what? Forget it. I can't believe this place. You should forget that date too, Mom. Hi, welcome to the bridal department. Have you found anything that you like yet? Yes, I'm looking for a wedding dress, but everything here is so old fashioned. Do you have anything more contemporary? Contemporary? I have just the thing for you. Let me go get it. Ooh, can't wait. Rachel wants a non-traditional wedding dress. Will Karen have a problem with that? Here it is. Not only is it a wedding dress, but you can also wear it again to a special event. Wow, I love that idea. And you know the best part? It's much more affordable than a traditional wedding dress. Great, can I try it on? Be my guest. Thank you. So, what do you think? I've never seen a wedding dress like that. I know, it's perfect. What was that? I'm selling that woman a dress. That's not a wedding dress, that's a prom dress or something. She wanted something contemporary. What was I supposed to do? Sell her a wedding dress. That's the department you're in. What if she wants to choose something else? Don't let her choose. We're the experts. We know better. What, she's supposed to wear a granny gown like that? That's the dress I wore at my wedding. You don't like it? Oh, no, I love it. Dresses like that never go out of style. That's more like it. Now do your job. Hi, how may I help you? I'm looking for a dress to wear to my daughter's graduation. Oh, you don't want any of those. Why not? They're kind of cute. Because they're cheap. You don't want to look cheap at your daughter's graduation, do you? No, I guess not. Well then, let me show you something from our designer collection. Okay. Hi, is there anything I can help you with? Yes, I'd like to buy a dress I tried on the other day. Oh, can I help you find it? No, I remember it. I'm sure I'll be able to find it. Oh, well, when you do, you can bring it over to the register and I'll ring you up. Okay, see you there. Jennifer is back to buy the wedding dress. Will Karen, the manager, find out? I found it. Can you ring me up? Terrific. How would you like to pay for that? Oh, my mom has an account here at Bergstrom's. She said I can charge it. Oh, well, give me her name and I'll look her up. Parker, Michelle Parker. Where did you get that? The bridal department. I told you, you can't buy a wedding dress here. And why are you waiting on her? I thought you wanted me to sell wedding dresses. Not with her being pregnant. I'm sorry, ma'am. She's my boss. I can't sell it to you. I can't believe it. That's more like it. Keep it up and you'll be management material. Oh. Thank you, Mrs. Reynolds. We'll talk more about that at the annual review. The annual review is coming up. Who will lose their job? Even though it's annual review time, I've got good news for you two. Good news? Oh my goodness, that's a surprise. The good news is you two aren't fired. The bad news is you two will be taking a small pay cut. Pay cut? We didn't do anything wrong. I don't care. Profits are down and it's not coming out of my check. Really? I can't believe this. Do you have any complaints? Who are you? Me? I'm just visiting. Bargain racks are in the basement, buddy. Don't waste our time up here on the sales floor. What makes you think I'm a waste of time? I don't worn out riffraff when I spot it. Get out of my store! You're throwing me out of your store? Oh, I see you're not hard of hearing yet. You know what? I think I know who should get out of this store. Okay, let's hear it. You. Oh, really? And I should leave the store? Why is that? 
Because I'm the district manager and this is your annual review. Because with people like you, there'll be no profits if you drive everyone out of the store. I'm just doing my job. That's what you think, because you don't have one anymore. Karen lost her job because of the way she treats customers. But what happens next when someone is stealing from the store? What are you doing in my store? Shouldn't you be picking through the garbage out back? Garbage? I'm not looking for bottles and cans. I want some clothes. Clothes? This is Bergstrom's, not the dollar store. Dollar store? They don't have clothes for my granddaughter. She needs something to impress her new boyfriend. Why don't you get your granddaughter a shiny new shopping cart? I'm sure that'll impress her boyfriend. Shopping carts? Oh, do you have those here? Oh, that'll make shopping so much easier. No, we don't, but I'm sure you brought your own. Oh, you can do that here? I'll go get one. No, don't do anything. I'm just gonna go get someone else to wait on you. Ariana doesn't want to wait on this homeless customer. How will she get rid of her? Sophie. Oh, hi, Ariana. There's a customer out front asking for you. Oh, okay, I'll go take care of her. Erica, there you are. Oh, hey, Ariana. You have such a nice selection this season. Well, not to worry. I've already picked something out for you. Great. I love surprises. Here, try this one on. Ooh, what kind of girl wouldn't like this? Uh. Oh, did you ask for me? This is nice. Does this come in a medium? Oh, I can check in the back. That's okay. I'll keep looking. Okay, let me know if you need anything. I'll be in the accessories department. How is it? It's perfect. Great. Guess I'm done. <laughs> See you next time. Ariana, there you are. Do you have anything new in store for me? Rachel, just in time. Look what I scored for you. <gasps> it's perfect. I'm going to go try it on. I'll be right back. I need a cup of coffee or something. Sophie noticed a customer shopping in one of the store's new dresses. Did she buy it? Or is there something else going on? Hey, Ariana. Did you see that girl leave in the Valentina? Which one? The emerald green one with all the rhinestones. I'm not talking about which dress, I'm talking about which girl. Were you waiting on her? No, you were waiting on her. I was waiting on her, but you were supposed to ring her up. Did you let her walk out wearing it? No, I was waiting on the older woman. Okay, but don't blame me if the dress is missing. Why is Sophie hassling me? I just need a cup of coffee. What are you doing here? What? Me? I'm just enjoying the free coffee and snacks. This is the employee lounge. Oh, was I supposed to put a quarter in something? No, this is Bergstrom's employee lounge. As in for employees only? Oh, 
Oh, are you offering me a job? No, it's time for you to leave. I'm kicking you out of the store. That's not very neighborly of you. I'm not your neighbor. I'm not your friend. You need to go. Well, I'm going to keep the coffee anyway and the pastry. Ladies, I've brought you two here because I'm concerned about theft in the store. Really? What's going on? That has nothing to do with me. As you know, we have a lot of high-end fashion here, and it's been going missing. It must have been that homeless woman. She seemed really shady to me. Ariana, that's not polite. She doesn't seem like she would steal clothes. Oh, really? You think she paid for that tent she wears? You mean that nightgown? We don't even sell that style. I agree, Sophie, because look what I found in the dressing room. What are those, old clothes? They must be from the clearance section downstairs. Well, they don't look like anything we sell. They don't even have tags! And what? You think they just leave their old clothes here? Uh, yeah, exactly. I think it's a ring of thieves taking brand new clothes and walking out of the store wearing them. You know what? The same thing happened at the old store I transferred from. Well, yeah, you came from the South Side. You're used to things like that. Are you saying the South Side is any different from the Galleria? Well, yeah, we get high class people that come here. That's why I let you wait on the homeless. You don't know that she's homeless. Older people like to wear comfortable clothes. And I like to eat lobster. That doesn't mean I work on a fishing boat. Ladies, cut the bickering. You're missing the point. We need a real solution to this problem. Why don't we do what we did at the South Side Mall store? Which is what? Not carry nice clothes? We put security tags on the more expensive clothes. Oh, great. And then what? Are people supposed to just go home wearing those? You know what, Sophie? That's a great idea. Corporate's been sending memos about security anyway. From now on, we're tagging the clothes. Perfect. I can show everyone how the tagging machine works. <laughs> great. That would be very helpful. You don't expect me to do that, do you? Of course not. If you'd like, I can have you transfer to the Southside store. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you there. No, I'll do it. <laughs> it can't be that hard. I don't want to be difficult. Fantastic. Then it's settled. <laughs> the store is cracking down on theft. Will someone get caught stealing clothes? doesn't even work. Here, let me show you. You're supposed to use one of these. I don't have time for this. Why don't you just do it? I just don't want you to get in trouble with Mrs. Clausen. It's okay. I'll just go take care of some clothes in the stock room. So now they're gonna put security tags on the dresses so people don't walk out of the store with them? Well, that's not gonna stop them from getting out the back door. Rachel, it's over here. Scar! Hey, what are you two doing in my dumpster? It's our dumpster now. Yeah, why don't you go collect your bottles and cans somewhere else? Think again! Undercover officer, I'm taking you two in. What? 
Turns out, the homeless lady was really an undercover officer 